today we are going to draw a swordfish. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to create a triangle. So I'm going to make a triangle. And then I'm going to do a second triangle. You watch. There, he looks like a kite. <laughs> Then we're going to make the sword, with one straight line for now, and down here we're going to have the then just have a rough idea of where it's going to be, and now he's starting to look like a fish. So once we get this much done, we're going to start to concentrate on where is the fin going to go. So we're gonna go right here a little bit further, these you know, a little bit past this part. I'm gonna go back, do a diagonal, curve it out, and curve it here. See, curved. And come in. And I'm still drawing very softly. So I'm gonna go right here. And this part of my sword. Push. I'm going to do a jaw right here. And my eye is going to go right about here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Next, I am going to start to add the fins. So let's see back here. It's going to be like one diagonal, and one diagonal, then another one, then another one. And then make a line that connects it. It looks like an arrow. And over here, I'm going to make like a curve line. And connect over here. Look at that. That is my pectoral. No, that is another fin under here. I'm going to do a pectoral in a minute. Hold on. Like that. Pectoral fin is right here. Pectoral fin is going to happen right here, make a curve, and then it comes out, and then it's going to get positioned right here. So I got one, two, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, those are my fins. Ooh, now I can really start thinking about that now. My fishy. Okay. After you get these basic sections, and you see how you're like a butterfly doing a little bit everywhere. Once you finish with this much, you can start to round out this body. Okay. I'm trying to hold the phone and do all this at the same time. Okay, now we can round out the body just a little bit, and then we're gonna clean up some of these lines. I like where that is. Let me see. We are going to turn this into a curve to round out the body. It's going to give the illusion of roundness. So we take this much, curve, curve it out. An artist who likes to do a lot of fish is Guy Harvey. I just thought I'd mention him. Um, he is an activist. He um, is protecting the sharks. From being um, hunted for medicinal purposes, they're going to become extinct. Sharks have a bad reputation. They're not as bad as they say. And everything in nature has a balance. So they are part of a chain. And they have a job to do. They don't normally go after humans. They usually attack when they think that um, they're a seal, because that's what they eat. If you're surfing, you look a lot like a seal. They don't do it on purpose, they think you're food. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm looking at curving this line. And go out with this fish. And curve 
these lines a little bit. Another thing that will help us to curve and give volume to the fish is definitely going to be uh, shading. So not only rounding the body by doing this curved lines, but also creating shading. Right now I'm adding texture by bringing in these lines on the fins and it kind of gives you an idea of the texture of the fins just by adding these nice lines and they don't go all the way so they're kind of directional they follow the direction of the fin and it's happening already on this one and I'm going to do that on the bottom one and in this one it's going to be a little bit less it has that roundness, it follows the shape of the edge of the, of the fin. And then it's going to be a little bit heavier on this side. And we connect everything. So to separate the area here, we got to define this line a little bit more. And these little fins are also going to have their little lines and be shaded shade shade Something like that and now i'm gonna go a little bit further on my pencil and use the side of the tip of my pencil because i'm gonna start to shade a little bit so i'm gonna go a little heavier to define the edge if i do that then i come in Using this side of the tip, mm -hmm. building it up slowly, just like we did with the shark yesterday. Like that. <clears throat> Once you know where the lines go, then you can go a little heavier. And in here, you want to shade just a little bit right here. And continue to shade up to where the eye is. I would like to leave a little section there like that to bring emphasis to the eye. And then continue to shade back. Build it up slowly, okay? Don't go too fast and don't press too hard. You can always build it up more, but to erase shading, oh my goodness, that's a nightmare. So don't do it. You get all kinds of smudging. Here, defining the line again. See? Dark, dark, dark. And that separates the two sections. I lost my texture lines. I'm going to reapply. See? redefine <clears throat> now i'm gonna work a little bit on this part because we're working all over the place just like a little butterfly right just all over the place all over the place and then go down here define this a little bit better. and i'm gonna make a little mark right here with my pencil pencil line and that's gonna help me to know how far to go with my lines because i'm gonna create some lines right here and these lines are going to be diagonals, you see? And they go like that. And they follow the shape of the fin. And I'm making some lines on top of lines and shading just a little bit. There we go. Do our definition. Go over right here. Line, 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 line. And define. Go like that. And make the lines. Bring in the finishing. Just like that. Perfect. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> so to make this fish kind of more rounded. Feel more like it's round. Go down here and do a little bit more of that um, shading. Shade it just a little bit. I'm going to go right here and press, press. Okay. And in the front, we're going to go right here. Now we're defining these a little bit better. Go right here. Define it more. And I want to make this section right here just a little darker on my fish. And then 
is soft again. And dark again. <laughs> and dark around the edge. Oh, this one, yeah. Just like that. <clears throat> oh, wow. That completes my fish. Look at it there. Now, the last step for this project would be to um, sharpen any details and to clean any smudges with the eraser. I could always do anything that you feel is not up to part needs to be clean right now. Very careful because this pencil is very smudgy. I would go over here, clean this just a tiny bit more. For more crisp definition. But when you do the shading, that separates your sections. So you keep dark next to light. That's called contrast. And you create the separation of space with that. And remember, when you shade, um, what happens is that a lot of your definition goes away. Like I just did right here. See, it feels like some of the definition went away. So you just go back in and you reapply pencil over those lines. And that will make them more well defined. And some parts you want um, darker and some, some parts you want lighter. And here, look how I'm making that line kind of disappear by just shading. And now all you see is that contrast of dark and light. Here, defining the edge of the fin, defining these lines again. Very good. On the bottom. Defining this section and defining the fin curving. And I believe I have a little bit to clean down here. Finding the edge again and you can extend it a little bit if you feel like you went over or whatever it's your sketch and you're learning how to control your drawing how to clean the edges how to do your erasing and if it doesn't look perfect that is okay because that's what the sketchbook is is practice it's a place to practice so this guy is called swordfish He's my swordfish, and he is my January 2021 drawing. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Now you know something I know. <laughs> now you know what I know. There you go.